Hello everyone, this is Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are your August 2017 Angel Oracle Card Readings. For this month I thought I would use the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue. You know, summer, ocean, swimming, dolphins, mermaids. <laughs> it just seemed to make sense. So that's what we're going to use for these readings and then of course pulling a crystal card for each sign from the Healing Crystal Oracle by Rochelle Charmin. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can go to my website at angelsouls444.com, the services page. If you would like to support me on Patreon, I will leave all that information down below. And of course, we still have courses and readings up over at Gumroad. So let's get started. Hi there, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you for August 2017. Yeah, this could be a big time of wishes coming true, okay? Um, things finally, you're hitting your stride. You're finally, like all the times of being misunderstood, all the times of being beaten down for having a different opinion or saying what you want to say, um, all the hard work you've put in, okay? Uh, you're going to see some sort of payoff, I believe. I do think so, but you're going to, if you don't, it's going to be strictly because you refuse to change your way of thinking or to um, be open to what the universe is trying to show you. All right, so stay, <laughs> there we go. Stay in the positive energy to allow these things to come to fruition. Okay, where's the card? There we go. <laughs> All right break free from the old patterns and you are free because I think a lot of you are coming into August with a more positive outlook because you've discovered things because you have come to a deeper understanding and you're free you're breaking free and you might be breaking free from certain surface level things as well that might be a relationship a job an old um, town or do you know what I'm saying things along that line, uh, like an old home or something. All right, so we have positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. I always explain to everybody, when was this published? This is the Doreen Virtue deck. I forget when it was published. Um, I don't want to look it up right now, but I want to say it was like early 2000s. This is already very outdated language, okay? Because it talks about avoidance. And we are now discovering that avoidance is not the way to be happy. And it's not the way to your spirituality. Um, what this might be better said as positive energy, find the positive energy within you, find the positive within yourself and have an awareness of people who might be toxic and want to feed off of you who might be abusive type people. Okay. That's where you're breaking free as we'll see here, <laughs> breaking free and you're coming into this light. You're coming in and coming into a new way of being, coming into your own light and allowing that to be expressed. If you yourself are a toxic person, you got to look at that, okay? That's what you're working on this month to release that if you choose to and come into your positivity, but not through avoidance, okay? You're not going to have your wishes come true um, by avoiding all the life lessons that you incarnated to have, yes? And we've seen that be incredibly, it's almost like a cancer within the spiritual community, this whole avoidance thing. Like I can't, and it's judgmental, it's, you know, uh, condemning, it's, it's not healthy and it's not getting us anywhere. It's not going to help with your spiritual growth, okay? Now, is that to say go in and just take what everybody is giving you? No. Again, use discernment. It's not about avoiding. It's about understanding and, uh, you know, knowing when you need to step away from somebody. Okay. So then we have break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. Again, expand your mind. Expand um, your under, there's that word again, understanding. Your uh, experiences and being around different kinds of people will inform you to see things in a different way as well. Um, but again, it feels like you're breaking free from um, people who might, because, hmm. This abuse pattern is like a thing. It's not just with individuals. It's not with just individual signs, but it's, you know, the world on the whole. Like we're not going to be manipulated anymore. We're not going to allow ourselves to be unhappy because somebody says that we're not good enough, right? And we're going to see that too. We have the worthiness card. So you're regaining your worthiness, your sense of worthiness. And this then opens doors for you, okay? And helps you have your wishes coming true. Now, as I say that, if you're like, oh, my wish is to have that one particular person, you are probably not a very healthy individual. Um, my wish is coming true means that I'm going to get a gazillion dollars. Um, okay, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> but what we're, the kind of wish coming true here is, what do you really want? 
What do you want when you're asking for those things? You want to be happy, right? So that's shifting the focus and going, okay, I'm going to focus on being happy and focusing on what makes me happy. Um, And that can just be simple, simple things. All right. So you don't have to wait for big events to happen, like a big major windfall or to get that person that you think you should be in love with. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Um, Things can happen on a smaller scale. All right. It's basically what we're talking about here. So the next card is you're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see the results yet. Okay. Again, loosen up on what you think should be and stop getting into this like, you know, negativity space, right? Don't allow yourself to go there. Again, it's not about avoidance, but it's also not um, just assuming that things are going to go wrong. You're being helped, even if it doesn't look the way that you think, even if you're coming into August and you're like, no, Michelle, this was a very painful month right? A lot of things came up that were incredibly like, I didn't want to look at it. Are are you not seeing the blessing there? Are you not seeing the realization that will now free you? That is the thing that's breaking you free. All right. So please accept the help. Know that you're being helped. Please accept it. Please don't automatically allow your brain to go to criticism or of yourself or of others. Um, I, you know, as a fellow Scorpio, I have gotten into that space where I'm no longer allowing people to just nitpick at me, you know, and having a YouTube channel. They do that. Um, Oh, Michelle, I love you so much, but your lighting stinks. You know what? I'm not here for that story. I'm not here for that fight. I'm removing myself and I often remove them as well. So you might be coming into that space too where it's not defensive. It's just saying... I'm not accepting that kind of toxic energy into me. Um, Oh, it's just feedback. Again, watch my videos on that, (laughs) you know, about how people will manipulate others through, oh, you should just take it. It's a conditioning exercise. You don't need to put up with it, okay? And this is why. So your worthiness. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. How many times have you done something good and somebody then counteracts it with what you've done bad, (laughs) right? And this has gotten you into kind of a bad space. And even for some of you who are doing maybe a deep psychological understanding or deep spiritual understanding, you're really um, making an about face, kind of, okay? Um, That for some of you, you're going to go through a period of unworthiness for a while because maybe you feel bad about some of the things that are coming up or you're feeling bad and thinking, oh gosh, you know, I I should have loved that person more or I should have been better to that person. You know, you can always go into a meditation and send out uh, a request for forgiveness. You can apologize to that person. You can send love their way. Um, But make sure you're doing that for yourself as well. And know that as things start to change and, you know, maybe even new opportunities are coming in for you to help you get to your wishes, goals, and dreams, know that you deserve it, okay? You don't have to diminish yourself for the comfort of others, yes? You deserve a place in this world just like anybody else. All right, so your crystal card for this month is Aquamarine Communication. And anytime this card comes up, this feels very much like angelic communication. So a lot of uh, messages coming through for you this month, um, a lot of higher help, (laughs) right? Where's the other one? You're being helped. Okay, so the angels are right there with you. You just have to be open and receptive and willing to listen and not allowing your ego to, you know, start getting in there and being like, no, it's not like that. Oh, this is silly. Oh, this is gibberish, you know, whatever don't go there because you're going into a hateful space and it's just the ego trying to counteract the good that's coming through okay so pay close attention to the messages that are coming through through your angelic team all right guys so there it is have a beautiful month and of course i'm sending you so much love take care